Hello dear students welcome to online edu class of science today we will continue with chapter 18 wastewater story part 2 this part we will learn how we can become an enlightened citizen and how to limit the waste produced better housekeeping practices one of the ways to minimize or eliminate waste and pollutants at their source is to see what you are releasing down the drain cooking oil and fats should not be thrown down the drain as they can harden and block the pipes in an open drain the fats block the soil pores reducing its effectiveness in filtering water we should throw oil and fats in the dustbin chemicals like paints solvents insecticides motor oil and medicines should not be thrown down the drain it may kill the useful microbes that help to decompose the waste present in the sewage and purify water used tea leaves solid food remains soft toys cotton etc should not be thrown down the drain these wastes choke the drain they do not allow free flow of oxygen to the useful microbes in the drain which decompose the waste so all the solid waste should be thrown in the dustbin Now next is sanitation and diseases. Poor sanitation and contaminated drinking water are the causes of a large number of diseases. Many places do not have sewerage facilities for the safe disposal of human excreta. Due to this a very large number of our people defecate in the open fields near railway tracks on dry river beds and sometimes directly in water. Untreated human excreta is a health hazard. It may cause water pollution. Both the surface water and ground water get polluted. Drinking water contaminated with human excreta causes a large number of waterborne diseases like cholera, typhoid, polio, meningitis, hepatitis and dysentery. Alternative arrangement for sewage disposal. Children We have learned that poor sanitation is the cause of a large number of diseases. To improve sanitation, low-cost on-site sewage disposal systems are being encouraged where there is no proper sewage system. Examples are septic tanks. It is a tank typically underground in which sewage is collected and allowed to decompose through bacterial activity before draining. then biogas plant a biogas plant is where biogas is produced this gas is used as a fuel and is a mixture of four gases namely methane hydrogen carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide and vermicomposting toilets a toilet in which human excreta is treated by worms and is being converted into a humus like material that are used for agronomic purposes now let's see sanitation at public places a large number of people visit public places like hospitals cinema halls markets railway stations or bus depots so a large amount of waste is generated at all these places every day if all the waste produced at public places is not disposed of regularly and properly it can result in spreading of diseases thus it is the responsibility of the municipality of the area to maintain sanitation at public places so dear students we can also contribute in maintaining sanitation at the public places by observing some of the following practices like we should not litter at public places if there is no dustbin available at a public place the waste should be carried home and thrown in the dustbin second we should never urinate on the road side third we should cover the open drains if the sewage of any particular house makes our neighborhood dirty we should inform the sanitation department of the municipality so children we all have a role to play in keeping our environment clean and healthy we must realize our responsibility in maintaining the water sources in a healthy state and also adopting good sanitation practices should be our way of life so with this 
students here we come to end of this chapter go through it and understand it properly thank you